Hello friends! My name is Marina and this is Rapunzel Fiber Arts. So today we're going to be working on a sweater and I've actually already finished knitting this sweater. This is actually the last clip that I'm going to be recording but that's just kind of how this project worked out. I started knitting a sweater back in March or April. It was a test knit for Jessie Made Designs and the pattern is called the Helix Pullover and it only just came out. So if you are interested in the way this looks when I'm all done with it, um, you should check out, I will put a link in the description so that you can go straight to her pattern page on Ravelry and purchase that if you are interested in the design. So this is the main color that I'm gonna use or that I used, this again is shot after the fact but it's got these blues and purples and browns in a self-striping. This fiber was originally from created by LCB and Lauren over at Valkyrie Fibers. I took one ply of, of two different colorways and then plied them together. And then this is the uh, Valkyrie Fibers dyed wool. These are both Polworth blends. This is pure Polworth. This is Polworth bamboo silk. Um, and she, Lauren over at Valkyrie Fibers, dyed this up for me, and that's one of the plies in this. And then I had a little bit left over, which I'm going to use for the cuffs and the neck and the bottom ribbing. So I started knitting this back in March or April. I shot the next clip, which you're about to see back in early May, where I had just finished the body. And then recently, um, mid-July, I finally cast off this project. Um, and then I got finished object photos just about a week ago in a dress. This sweater is going to be worn to a wedding that I'm going to with my partner in October. Um, that's the plan anyway. I got a really pretty dress that matches some of the blue in this yarn very nicely. Um, you'll see in a couple of minutes, but I just wanted to come in and give a proper introduction before we kind of jump into the video. So hopefully that all works out okay. Hopefully it's not it's not too messy of a video. I think I did an okay job of introducing it, but let me know in the comments if I could have done something better. So yeah, stay tuned and I will show you the sweater in progress in just a moment. Hello friends. I am here today wearing a half finished sweater. You can't tell because I'm too close, but it's just a crop top right now. Um, this is a Jesse May Designs test knit that I'm working on. Um, it's getting, getting big. I'm using some hand spun yarn that I did up with some Valkyrie fiber and created by LCB Paulworth. And it creates this really nice self striping yarn in blues and a little bit of brown and purple. And I really like it. But we are reaching decision making time. So I decided I would start recording and give you guys a chance to be here for it. So this is all the yarn I have left. I probably have enough for shortish to three quarter length sleeves. And I think I'm, I'm binding off here. I think that I'm going to do like this much ribbing and then just call it a crop top. And I think it's going to be really, really cute. It looks really cute right now. And so I'm going to weigh this after I've finished knitting the body in this color because I have a coordinating color for ribbing in just the purple. And so what I'm going to do once I finish working the body in this color is I'm going to cut the, cut the yarn, weigh it, and then write that down so that as I'm working the sleeves, I can only use half the yarn. Hopefully that makes sense. I'll use half the yarn for each sleeve and make them just as long as I can. And then if I run out, I did some dyeing. 
and I made this color, which is a little bit variegated, but I think that for the sleeves where I don't have quite enough of this to finish will look pretty good. Um, I have parts of this that are a little bit more pinky and I have parts that are a little bit more blue and I'll probably pull off the bright colors because I really want this kind of subdued purple for the sleeves. Um, sorry, I had to do some digging. This is the purple that I have for my ribbing, which is one of the plies of this yarn. This is the Valkyrie Fibers Paul Worth, which I had some left over after I finished plying with the created by LCB Paul Worth. So I have a fair bit of this left over, which I think I'm going to do for all of my ribbing around the cuffs and around the neckline here and um, the bottom of the body. But I might not have quite enough for that. So I think this will be a good substitute. It's the same fiber. Obviously, I still have to spin it. But I think... I think once it's all done, it's going to look really good. Um, this purple that I dyed turned up a little bit bluer than this purple that Valkyrie Fibers dyed for me. But... It's very close. It's a very similar purple. So I think, I think it'll work. I think it'll all work out and I will have enough yardage and I'm going to love this sweater and everything will be fine. But I wanted to hop on here and kind of show you what I'm doing, how I'm trying this on. I have two sets of needles going right now. You can kind of see the needle end there and then I have the uh, opposite ends secured so that none of my stitches fall off but that's what I've been doing um, and that's my plan moving forward and I will keep you updated as this sweater progresses and let you know how it turns out St uh, take care friends and I will talk to you again soon all right, friends. So after all of that, I did not do any other updates other than this, which is the finished object. That is the dress I'm planning on wearing with it to the wedding. I think it looks super cute. I am very, very happy with this finished object. Um, you'll see in a minute when I, when I film the outro just how excited I am, but I think you can tell from that smile on my face just how incredibly incredibly thrilled I am with how well this fits and how cozy it is and how comfy it is I'm so so happy all right friends I finished my sweater it fits me so well I am so happy with it um this is all hand spun yarn I didn't end up needing to use that extra stuff that I dyed so disregard that earlier clip of me, um, of me talking about the different fibers I was potentially going to be using, um, because I ended up having enough of the colors that I had already spun. So I'm super happy with this sweater. It's a cute little crop top. It looks fantastic on me and I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Um, I think this is the best fitting sweater I've ever made and I would definitely recommend it. It was a super easy knit and it's super um, ribbed so it's very elastic and um, like I have a lot more room in this than I need which is great. So yeah that's the end of this kind of sweater journey. It's been a couple months um, since I shot that first clip of me I don't even remember what I was doing in the first clip, but you've seen it recently, so you know. Um, so yeah, that that is this sweater project. This is the Helix sweater by Jessie Made Designs, and I love it. I think it looks great. The yarn I picked looks fantastic, and it's super cozy. I'm a little bit warm because it is the end of July, um, but when we're going to the wedding in mid-October, 
this should be a nice layer in case it's a little bit chilly. So yeah, I think that's the end of this video. If you liked it, please like this video, um, subscribe if you're interested, and leave a comment if you have anything you'd like to say. Um, it's been great doing this with you, friends. I hope that you enjoyed this journey, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.